All right, we talked about everybody was able to make it in today. Um, again, we all live in the city, even though some of the city is considered a story on Roosevelt Island. So, I, But the only person on the outside is our own uh, Eastside Dave. Could not make it in, and we have him from far south New Jersey. How you doing, David? Mr. B, how are you? Uh, just Mr. going over, yeah, just docking and pay for you today. No, please don't. It, <laughs> I cannot believe, it, we, we have over 14 inches down here where I am. I was snowed, we were snowed in, uh, totally snowed in. No neighbors could leave my, my development till about 11 o'clock. Is that why you slept till noon? <laughs> I did not sleep till noon. I was up. I wanted to come in, and the the the, uh, the people who are in charge of my development never got a plower down here. And it's I have this. I if you could see the outside, you would laugh. I mean, it puts Hoff to shame. The planet Hoff. I'm speaking of Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I really don't know what you're talking about. I just Hoff being in shame is what I'm used to. Now, um, so you slept in. You drank last night. And today's a good old-fashioned snow day for you. What are you doing? Um, you, you and your no, friends? I, I don't think I drank that much. I just basically, I was up and I wanted to come into work, but what can you do? You know, it's like... Why don't you do this? Why, why don't you and your friends take your sleds to Suicide Hill? Because that's, I know you're running around with Catman and all those other guys having the time of your life. I'm not... I swear to God, I feel terrible about this. I know that it was only Pepper and Killer Joe... Um, and so I was like, but, oh, can I tell you something? Killer Joe is ten times better than you've ever been on the phones. And oh. Peppers came into his own today. You've given me a lot of uh, to think yeah. about here. I know this is why I don't. I never like to watch Wally Pip. This thing. I the, hate this Wally show Pip runs better without you. It doesn't. And I'm glad you didn't even attempt to get in today. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm you. glad you didn't even attempt to come in today. I attempted. Holy shit. Did no, you try I, to tie a sled to that three-legged dog of yours? <laughs> if uh, not, then you didn't try everything. His name is Strummer. I, I tried, guys. I tried. If you look on the Pow Talk camera, Mr. B, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how much snow I had down in here. Wait, you're on Pow Talk? I've never seen that before. Yeah, I'm on the uh, Casey Elon Pow Talk camera. I just want to show you real quick. All right, hold on. Uh, Casey, if you could please move the camera here. Okay. What are you doing? Tell, calling her from the bar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. I'm at the table. Look at this table and look at how much snow we have. I have myself a tape measure. Look uh, at this. You're, 15 it's, fucking inches. All right, Dave, I don't know whether it's your camera, but all I'm seeing is white light. Bring that camera closer, Casey, please. It doesn't go any closer, you're saying. Damn it. I, what that's you, how much snow it is. All I see, <laughs> I, you have the worst camera I've ever seen. I was trying to show you that on the table, on my table out there, is representative of how much snow we got. It was 15 inches on that table. It really looks like you live in vanilla land. I don't see anything. I don't see any, I can't make anything out at all. I, I swear to God that, I mean, the snow, it, it has destroyed um, South Central New Jersey. I mean, forget about it. There is There is no one outside. I mean, everyone... I didn't know really. Yes, they're you all know, at work. Kill, Killer Joe uh, came in. He lives on the Wildwood Crest. And oh, he came in. He lives in the Wildwood Crest. Jesus, I never even knew that. Yeah, he lives down at Wildwood Crest. How'd he get in? A train um, or something? He, he, no, he said he just drove in. Easy. He said it wasn't a problem in the world. Well, maybe he could have given me a ride for fuck's sake. I'm he said sitting he, here. I'm wanting to do the show. He, he, he said he called you. There was no answer. And then finally he heard just a drunken hand knock the telephone down. Well, listen, I mean, we all do things in our private oh. houses, but I don't, yeah. All right, uh, by the way, Dave, I want you to come over and stand in front of your camera so okay. I, I can get a good look at you, because I haven't uh, seen you okay. in a while. Uh, Hicks, is the show going on today? Oh, yeah. Are you on the show? Dave, you're on the show with me today, right? We're all here together? Dave um, McDonald. Dave, am, but yeah, I'm not on the show. I'm yes, Dave calling. McDonald is wearing a New York Giants sweatshirt. Oh, no! You are out, my friend. Oh, Hicks is the winner. The new Tito's best champion. The Tito's oh, no, fleece no, champion. No, no. Pop Hicks. Pop no. Hicks. No. This is bullshit. to me, and you know it. Pop ah, face. In there. I have not put three months of Tito's 
jackets on for nothing. Yes, I, you I, have. You are where? Why wouldn't you put the Tito's on? <laughs> I had to go outside and dig and shovel and shit. Hey, and Tito's will keep, keep you warm, destroyed. Dave. It's Pop Six again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Peace, guys. Pop Six. Pop Six. Sorry, Dave. Bullshit. Yeah. Ronnie B. Yeah. I swear to Jesus, I'd be wearing my Tito's. If I didn't have to go outside, he was going to get ruined. Hicks oh. and Eastside Dave had a bet who could wear a Tito's vodka fleece the longest. They've each had one. They've been living in them. We find out today Eastside Dave has removed his. Hicks is the big Tito's winner. All right, it. wait a second. Wait a second. Let's just think clear-headed here for a second, will you? It's a snow day. There's No, it's not. The show is going on. We're live. <laughs> You've taken your own snow day. It doesn't mean you can like. Let's suppose this is a school. If what? the school opens and one kid doesn't come in, right. it doesn't make it a snow day, Fred. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, you guys. I. I. But it's still snowing up there, is it not? Yeah, it's beautiful. Why did you go to work today? Why did you do it? Well, because he cares about the show. And I he care about the show. Should it's stay the story. Too, too, too Oh, where do we? Me where do we get this Sam and Pops uh, show going? Oh, that better not happen! I swear to God, Sam Roberts. <laughs> so, by the way, Sam Roberts in today? He's a little fucking. I mean, he doesn't have anywhere to go. I've got a pregnant wife. She was honestly, Mister B. Let me tell you something. She was bawling her eyes out. She said, "This is the last time she's ever going to see me alive." <laughs> when I tried to, Why, were you drinking? What were you doing, drinking and trying to fix the back of the TV again? <laughs> <laughs> I, and I know I know you had a long weekend because I was getting those texts from you about what basketball games were kicking ass midnight on a Friday. <laughs> Wait a second. Yes, I give you Friday night basketball updates. I, I realize that you and I are the only Hoops fans left on 202. And, so and I, I actually said to my family, I said, no way he comes in on Monday. No. Nope. No, I was coming in. I was coming. I, I gave you guys a couple of news stories. I was coming in. I swear to God, I was coming in. Why don't you do this? Why don't you build, like, a nice little snowman for your daughter, and we'll check in with you later. All, All right? right? I'll try to do that. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I mean, it was, uh, it would have really been nice, uh, if he would at least try to get in. If he would at least tried. No, he's just piling snow up on a picnic table to make a display. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's around a fish show. They call it Snowy Monday. We've got Eastside Dave working on a uh, snowman uh, for his daughter, Juliana. Uh, this will be... Her first uh, snowman. And Dave's just about wrapping up now. And the snowman is one of the most hideous things I've ever seen in my life. It's actually a snowman looking up, which I've never <laughs> seen that from that angle before. I thought uh, when we were getting back, I'd, I'd have Dave online, Pepper. I thought that's what you told me. He fell off. I guess the snowman is looking up to see if there's any more snow coming. What a day. Uh, snow across the whole entire uh, East Coast from way down south all the way up to Maine. Some places uh, that never get snow and some people, some places that are used to big snow. And there is the world's worst snowman I've ever seen. It's up in the Pal Talk room. Uh, on Ron and Fez's show on Pal Talk, which, by the way, I guess is doing uh, big numbers today because uh, Dave is home and making a snowman. This is the sadness uh, of what goes on. Uh, here's the side, Dave. Dave? Mr. B. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Kick that scary thing away from before your daughter gets a chance to see it. <laughs> you know, the thing about snowmen is you don't realize anymore, you don't have coal or anything. So I had to make the eyes out of ketchup and the mouth out of a black pen. 
and it's got a kind of a horror feel to it. It is a sinister, and it's so <laughs> small, and I've never seen a, a, a snowman looking up like it's going to bite your knees. I know. Well, it, <laughs> the snow isn't packing as well as I can, but also I wanted to keep it Juliana eye level because she, she doesn't know how it works. Here, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get next to the snowman pal talk to get it some scale for you. So it's kind of tiny. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you move that camera close, you can see, almost see it. Yeah, so, um, so it, this is the snowman. Juliana is crying, as you can hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just another ruined uh, snow day. You better build her an igloo. Yeah. I have done a bad job all around today. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you're wearing your pajama pants. <laughs> well, I decided to get comfy. What do you I mean, know you never tried to come in here. You're wearing pajama pants. I tried. I tried. But, you know, I mean, I don't want... I have one pair of jeans now because <laughs> of my fat stomach has burst the waist uh, button of all the, my, my other two pairs. Here's what you you hate. Uh, thanks to technology, we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have fucked up on not wearing that Tito. Yeah, well, look, let's face it. Uh, you need to take another day off and maybe even the yeah. rest of the week. No, 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 no. Because it's I'm running tomorrow. pretty smooth around here. No, 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 no. I am. You're you 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 are not going to wally pip me. I'm in tomorrow. Hey, I listen. I'm telling you, I would be there if the people didn't. Mm -hmm. wow. Eric, you're on the run of face show. Oh. Yeah, the world's worst snowman is looking up at the sky, saying, "Why, God, why?" I know it's really <laughs> true. I've never seen a pathetic snowman before. Uh, Albie, you're on run of face. Dick Holder, seventy-eight, ninety-eight. What can we do for you, brother? I have a spy report. All right. Spy report. Spy report. It was just mentioned on ESPN Radio that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are courting uh, quarterback Jay Cutler away from the Denver Broncos. Is that wow. going to be the future for you, Fez? I don't see where Jay Cutler's the future. He wasn't the future for the Broncos. Mr. 8-8, uh, eight eight, I don't think he's going to make it there. Now, he, apparently he's not talking to the Broncos either because they were trying to get rid of him to New England for uh, Matt Castle. All right. Color was all pro. He was all pro this past he was year? Pro. He was he, all pro. He had incredible, yeah, he was, he was all pro this past year. He fucking, he's great. He's got, he's got one of the best cannons in the AFC. A, a, any team would love to have Jake Cutler. I love that you don't even have to come come in here to knock Watley on his ass. He never gets a break with you. All right, Eastside Dave, we'll check okay. in with you by the end of the show. Keep okay. enjoying your your snow week off. All right, no snow day. I'll be in tomorrow. All right, uh, have a great week this week, Dave. Eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Here is uh, Larry. Larry, you're on the Run of Fez show. Why didn't Dave just stay in the city last night? Or why didn't he stay with Pepper or Fez or get a hotel room? What the fuck is wrong with the guy? The hotel room uh, costs money. Uh, Pepper has no place to, uh, to keep him. And Fez puts his own personal comfort before the show. Dave could have shared my couch with me. That's the problem. You sleep on your own couch? <laughs> yeah. Do you even fold it out or you just lay on the couch? I just lay on the couch. So you've never had what I would call a good night's sleep? No, never. Even as a child. <laughs> your whole life, yeah. you've just been couch surfing. Basically. But when I went to college, though, I, I uh, did get my own bed, which is very exciting. Dorm and, in a <laughs> so you're one of the few people with a dorm room that felt like you could stretch out. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you all right, Greg? I hear you coughing a little bit there. Oh, yeah, I'm okay, Ronnie. Thanks, man. Okay, what do you got for us, buddy? Oh, listen, man, I have a horrible confession. And right. I think you got a confession I mean, got with the confession music. Okay, yeah, play the confession. Yeah. No, I don't hear the music. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. We do. All right, well, the first the first part of the confession uh, it, uh, in, entails me developing a horrendous drug habit. Uh, what drug? Of course, I, huh? What drug? Uh... Well, opiates mainly, all okay. types. You know, what do you got? Right. Uh, and, you know, lying over a period of like five years uh, about, uh, you know, increasing amounts of money disappearing from my bank account. Mm -hmm. you know? And then uh, the second uh, part of the confession uh, entails uh, a catharsis between me and my wife in which I cop to having a problem but not to be in a drug addict. What problem did you tell her? I got to having a gambling problem, which I don't have. I never even bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you and then, you thought it would sound better if you said I have a gambling addiction? Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And then the the third and final part of the confession uh, involves me actually going to therapy for said gambling addiction. And you're lying to the therapist? Yes, lying to two separate therapists. Yes. All right. I understand uh, lying to your wife, but you got to get out of this thing, right? I mean, there's no fucking recovery well, program. It's over. I'm out of it. It's done. It's over. I, I don't go to therapy for it anymore. But obviously, yeah. you're still a drug addict. You haven't. No, no. I stopped getting high. Yeah. Only be from what? From what just. Do you mean from what? From just holding on. In other words, you you haven't learned any of the tools to quit being a drug addict. You just oh, no, stop. yeah, no, no, I just haven't gotten high since this whole thing happened. Right, because the heat's been on you. But the second uh, you the second you get a little bit of breathing room, and there's some opiates around, you're going to dome again. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. You know what? The funny thing happened. All my sources, and this is fucking crazy, mm -hmm. but dude, like all my sources, I had like three of them. They all, like, disappeared in the space of a week. Two of them got locked up, and the other one, you know, just, you know, whatever. Yeah, that happens to people that you cop from. It's not all that unusual yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for drug dealers to get arrested. It's a, a tremendous coincidence, everybody in a week. Yeah. So not really. When you really look into it, it <laughs> does happen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I wish you all the best with it, man. You're living a lie. Good, good luck <laughs> to it with you. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, peace. Because there's not a uh, recovery program that doesn't urge you to lie to your loved ones and live a, a life of dishonesty. That seems to be the, and this is a, a fuzzy, what I'm doing right now, a sarcasm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish the guy all the luck in the world. But, you know, you basically are basing your life on lies. Uh, kind of confusing. He never did have a drug addiction. I mean, a gambling addiction. Right. He made that up just to sit someplace with counselors. One doesn't have, you know, he's just lying. He's just lying wherever he goes. But, you know, at least he confessed it here. Here is a place where you could uh, be honest. What about you, Hicks? You got a little confession for us? Uh, yeah. This one goes back to uh, the day after the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. the Monday morning. Um, I had a lot of uh, heartburn, and I'm pissing in the morning. I th go to burp. I actually vomit. I vomit on my dick. I don't clean it up, and I walk around with vomit dick all day here in the studio. Now, so here in the studio, you puked on your dick. Yeah. In our bathroom. Yeah. And why wouldn't you clean it up? Uh, just laziness. So you walked around with a puke dick, and nobody here even picked up on it? Nope. <laughs> That's what this I is the smells we're used to at oh. fucking 202. This is the disgusting part. Uh, make sure you set up Killer Joe and let him know how this works. Uh, we'll open up the phone lines and do a couple of confessions. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Um, Eastside Dave, the man who takes off every time he sees a single flake of snow is called his back. How you doing, David? Good, Mr. B. Okay, have a confession. I'm up here in the bedroom so that my wife doesn't hear it. She has the uh, radio. Got drunk Friday night and feeding the dog food. She has lots of shit going all over the place. I was feeding her chocolate and shit like that. So I'm hammered. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. I go into the linen closet to take out a towel, what I thought was a towel, to wipe off all the diarrhea on the kitchen floor, only to know, to learn, that I looked at it the next day, next morning, and it was a quilt that Casey's grandmother had knit specifically for Juliana. It has little... Uh, her birthday on it has Casey and I's wedding. There's like actual pictures and shit. I feel horrible. I didn't tell Casey. I'm doing this. I doing this confession in the bedroom so she doesn't know. But I got. I, I chucked that fucking quote right in the garbage before Casey woke up on Saturday morning. Dude, what's wrong with you? Well, I know. I didn't. I. I. I felt terrible. But I. I thought. Why would you keep a quilt? Why would you keep a quilt? In the linen closet, a special because it's that linen. Be, it's not for linens, though. To me, that's like a special item that should have been kept in Juliana's fucking closet. Here's what I love: the fact about your alcoholism that yeah. you need to blame everybody else, <laughs> not the fact that you get so drunk you don't know what you're doing and you're feeding the dog chocolate, which doesn't even make sense. 
Why were there Oreos left around? If, if uh, when I get drunk, I like to feed the dog snacks. There shouldn't be any Oreos on the counter. You drive me crazy, Dave. Mr. B, would you keep a special item like that, a homemade quilt in the ragtag linen closet where there's bullshit towels from Walmart and stuff? No, you would keep that in Juliana's, you know, toy chest or something like that. Mm. Uh, so I, 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 I do feel terrible about that, though. I, I do confess. I, I confess that I hid it because now I think about it, I could have just got the thing dry cleaned or something. It seems like maybe you could have um, <laughs> saved it. I could have put it in the washing machine, I suppose. So um, that I feel terrible, and I would like to confess that, and hopefully she doesn't find but out. Why do you feed? Why do you even feed your your dog something that's going to make him uh, sick? Well, I because I've done it before, and she's never gotten sick. Sick like this time, you know. I've given her M um, and M's pieces, Reese's pieces, butter cups, but I think put. I think giving her Oreos was just taking it up to too much of a notch. So that was the mistake on my part. You know, what, what What do you want me to say? I've been bad, okay, fine. I do, I do confess it because that's what we're calling in for. But what can you do? Um, uh, hold on. Here's Hindu who's got an opinion about that. Hindu, you're on running Fez. David, you really can't be dumb enough that you don't know that chocolate will, will, will kill a dog. Not true. My dachshund of 14 years used to eat chocolate. All I fit my dachshund chocolate every Friday. There's a there's a dog occasionally here and there that can stand it, but most dogs are it it really screws up their system. Don't do that, Dave. And it's wasting Oreos. I've looked on the website. Thank you, Some dogs can you know it's no big deal. What sense does it make that would would kill a dog anyway? It doesn't make any sense. Well, I know you don't give dogs candy. Well, uh, he, that's not true either, because I've given her Sour Patch Kids when I when I don't finish the bag at the movies, and, and Strummer's fine. Here is uh, John. John, you're on Fez. Yeah, I've heard Ron uh, tell Dave it's the show or drinking, and we've seen Dave's choice there. What would Dave do if Casey said it's her and the kids or alcohol? Turn the to kids stop. to alcohol? No, if it was either you stop drinking or they leave. Uh, I would probably choose the family, yeah. But, well, you know, luckily that decision is not going to be made, and that's I'm, you know, headed. whatever. I mean, well, you know, people make mistakes. I'm, I, I, I wasn't going to even say this until we, I heard the confession being played. Well... I don't feel good about it. I'm not happy. I mean, you know, but the dog is fine. She had the shit. For you know, uh, four or five hours on Friday night. All right, Casey. I wrote. I love how Dave doesn't act like he doesn't know. I have the computer radio on. So your wife is obviously downstairs and knows everything, Dave. Fuck. What do you mean, I fuck? Forgot. Like you got caught? You called up a radio show. Your radio show that you've been on a couple times today, yeah. and then you tell this story. Because I took the uh, XM off, because I, I, I unplugged the XM. I didn't think, oh, fuck. I didn't think that she was going to have it on Pal Talk. Uh, here is uh, Justin. Justin, you're on Fez. Oh, fuck. Hey, uh, just wanted to tell Dave not to uh, worry or feel bad. Uh, chocolate can kill a dog, but it's in uh, massive quantities. Uh, typically speaking, a small amount of chocolate at the most is going to give do a dog diarrhea. It's really not a big deal to kill well, a wait, dog. Wait, hold on. Why would anybody want the dog to have diarrhea when it's a fucking in-house dog? I can Maybe see I was cleaning out the, the dog system. That would be, be okay if you had him outside. Yeah, well, I, I, I was thinking not... I mean, this isn't what I was thinking, but, you know, if, if a human being has diarrhea, the system's cleaned out. It's not, like, so much of a bad thing. Well, so far, this has only killed a keepsake, uh, keepsake quilt. Well, it should have been around for a lifetime. Yeah. That's the thing that I feel bad about because her grandmother's probably going to die soon. So this is one last, like, memory of her. And Why don't you just have her fucking start quilting all over again? Explain your funny story. Say this could happen to any drunk. And do it over. Have her quilt some shit stains into the new one so that you don't have to worry about this again. It's just well, part of the pattern. It took her nine months to, to do this one. Nine months. She she had she had to wait till Juliana was born before she finally sewed on the last patches. 
but she basically did it from as soon as she learned that uh, Casey was pregnant. Why didn't you at least see if you could have had it clean somewhere? It's already gone now? I hid it, yeah. I, I, I put it in the garbage can, and then the garbage people came on Saturday morning. And I made sure, absolutely, that it was at the bottom of the garbage can. No way she'd find out. See, no. again, that's why you shouldn't, you should, you know, not do things always under the influence because it, was, it probably was a mistake. I just walked downstairs. She's giving me the eyes now. Go sit next to her in front of the cam. I want to see how you two are getting along. She said, get away from me, Ron. Right. She's not happy. All right, by the way, Dave is all the way down to just wearing boxer shorts now. <laughs> she got up and left. Oh, God. He's got his open legs in front of the fucking cam. What? Oh, You're disgusting. Shit. I'm sorry. Having quite the snow day. I didn't realize that it was that down. She she got up and walked out. Uh, she's not. Uh, she's walking upstairs or something. What Look, an I don't feel. I don't feel good about this. Then why this are you the laughing? Point of confession. The wood. Had I not called in. No one would have found out about this. Then I'd be all the wiser, wouldn't I? Yeah, you'd be such a great man if you weren't so honest. I'm simply saying that well, I called in, I was honest, and let's move on now. That's what Confessions is for. I'll put the camera back down if no one's going <laughs> to... All right, now he's just got it back on his little fucking crutch. I'll punish Dave. everybody. If no one's going to accept my confession, my apologies, I'll, I'll, I'll ball it. And I'll, I'll take one of the balls out if I have right, to. I'm just going to say this. What? Uh, I'm going to speak to the other ladies. Take his cam off. Take the Casey cam off right now. It's gone. It's gone. I'm back up. You you, you have a headshot. Nice headshot, Mr. B. Mm. This is why Sheepy grow, grows up confused. <laughs> I got to tell you one thing, Mr. B. Yeah. I now know why I don't I usually uh, just lounge around the house in boxers. Smelly. Thank I don't you. know if it's my ball, my balls because I was trying to shovel snow, or I got the swamp ass, or what. But it's it's not a good it's not a good odor. Maybe that. Thanks for sharing, Dave. All right, I'm going to break here, David. Okay. Thank Your you, life's man. a nightmare. Okay. Bye bye. I hope Casey beats you up. She's too classy <laughs> to do it on the radio, but I do hope she beats you up. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Just sit Bye. there. Just sit there in your shame, <laughs> Dave. You never know. Uh, here is um, here's Chris. Chris, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? Good, man. Hey, uh, <clears throat> it's funny you guys are talking about this. My wife brought home a pamphlet the other day. We have two sons, and we're seriously considering have a third child because she wants a daughter. Um, it turns out this this clinic around here in D.C. they uh, do what they call sperm washing, where they take my sperm and basically. <clears throat> figure out which is the girl sperm and which is the guy, you know, would produce a boy. And they spin it around, and I don't know what exactly they do, and they inject it in her. And anyway, the result is they get about 85% um, <clears throat> um, success rate when they try to, you know, basically try to get a girl. Mm. Yeah, I, I, it, yeah, it's easier to go after the girl than it is the boy right now, right? Yeah. It's easier yeah. to take that for... Whatever reasons, uh, reasons that it works out, and I know uh, couples that uh, held on until they had a girl. Some, you know, people just feel like um, they want the experience of both. But let's take East Side Dave. At first, he thought he wanted a little boy, right? Right. Uh, right. Dave. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I now, absolutely wanted a baby boy. Now that you're sitting there with Juliana sitting next to you. Yeah. And I seen the way you've been playing with her today. Could you imagine not having her or trading I, her in? No, I would never trade her in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if she were to grow a little penis right now, yeah. I would be pretty heartbroken. Because I like the little, you know, all the features, the little head, you know, and this, I, I, no, I'm not going to go anywhere further. I'm just saying I, lo I love, I, I, yeah, she's a great chick. Now, and, who, who's that that she's playing with next to her? Oh, this is Talking Elmo. Now, I don't know all the uh, Muppets. Isn't that the most depressed out of all the Muppet toys? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, he's, um, there's something a little bit weird and hypnotizing about this guy. Mm -hmm. 
she's kind of you know like she like he 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 talks to her and then that's it. You know? I don't get it. I honestly, you know, maybe I'm old school, but I don't get it at all. Um, I know, but she's I really just, falling into the fun age now, huh? Yeah, she's 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 a ball right now. I mean, yeah. I, I play harmonica for her, and she thinks you know basically I'm John Popper. Right. She doesn't know that you that you stink. That I'm terrible. <laughs> that I'm like one of the three or four worst uh, fucking harmonica players. In New Jersey, yeah, she thinks I'm actually good. I play her the Battle of the Civil uh, Hymn. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what was that? The, 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 the Hymn of the Civil, the Hymn of the Battle Civil War, or something like that. All right, we'll talk to you later, Dave. All right. Play the Battle Hymn. Are you going to play it for her now? If I can find my harmonica, or I'll, I'll call back when I find my harmonica. Yeah, oh, no, I have it. find it. I think you mean the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Battle Hymn of the Republic. Absolutely. Yeah, not the Battle Hymn of the Civil War. Call us back when you find your harmonica. Okay. And don't leave that baby alone on the couch. Oh, yeah. Baby's crawl. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Mind her little font now. Uh, here is um, here's Scott. Scott, you're running Fez. Yeah, I just wanted to ask Fez if he thought uh, everybody was going to use this service or there wouldn't be no mistakes or no people that didn't want to use it. Well, no, there would be, you know, it would actually end up being a different class of people. There would be these super babies that are being born, and then the people that couldn't afford it, this is going to end up being a lower class of people. We may end up with a caste system from this. And that's how, unlike now, we don't have rich people who have better fucking means, that rich people don't put their kids in better preschools, which gets them into better elementary schools, which gets them into better high schools which gets them in the Ivy League? No, we have that now. And guess who's going to be using this expensive product, probably? The rich people. As always. Yeah. As always. So your point is that it's too much of a benefit to people? To no. rich people? No, that it's going to cause an even bigger separation between the classes in this country. So you're, uh, unless everybody can get a product, you're not for it. Everybody's be able to get it equally. Well, I just think that it's, you know, it's there's kids that are still going to be teased and stuff about things. Yeah, unlike today. In other words, before we get one kid gets his second pair of shoes, should all the kids get one pair of shoes to make it even? That would be nice if every kid could have a pair of shoes. Hi, Che. How's everything over <laughs> there in communist Russia? Why don't you uh, head on down to Cuba and, and start it over there? Because communism's worked out so well for everybody. Uh, here is uh, Pat. Pat, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Hey, Ronnie B. Yeah. Uh, he had a great show today. Thank you. And by the way, after the show, I'm taking Fez out uh, with his bank account, having him adopt some poor kids because oh. he's, he's for everybody being taken care of. <laughs> hey, Ronnie B., I was thinking about this over the weekend, and um, I'd like to nominate Fez Watley for Beanie Cup, seeing how he had a great month last month. Everybody's real proud of you, Fez. You haven't cried for uh, for quite some time. Yeah, it's, it's been very helpful. Yeah, I have kept the crying off the air. Oh, you're still crying off the air? Oh, yeah, I still end up crying, yes. Well, then it's time uh, for today's Beanie Cup. And uh, Davey Mack, of course, made the uh, the great snowman. Um, and, and, has been, and did a great confession for us today. So good luck to Davey Mack. Fez didn't cry. Hicks has been on top of things today. Let me go Beanie Cup. Today's Beanie Cup goes to... Killer Joe the intern. Oh, who rocked the phones all day long. Way to go, Killer Joe. Not a single problem. Killer Joe, intern. Beanie Cup award winner. Intern. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing for an intern to I pick know, that up. I know, but I mean, you've given it to probably 16, 17 interns since I've been, since, since the Beanie Cup has gone out to people. I can't get one for crying out loud. Uh, did you find your harmonica? Yes, I did. Yeah. You want to hear the Battle of the Civil Hymn? Yeah, I want to hear the Battle of the Civil Hymn. Here we go, Mr. B. Jewel, ready? You ready? <laughs> The way Thank that you. kid looks at him like he actually did something. <laughs> it's the biggest lie in the world. Wait, I, I, can I do something else for you real quick? Sure. If I, if I play with her bottom lip now, she likes to sing. All right. Right? I'll, I'll get the phone right on her. 
Gotta do it. She's literally leaning back away Don't from him. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. She froze. She froze. She well, she's not. She's not a performer yet, Mister B. What can I she's say? She's a sham, a shy ham. <laughs> I thought she's you were telling. I thought you were telling her not to breathe. She's a ham when nobody else is around, but when you see her, she's shy. When you bring her out, shy sham. Make that your latest uh, invention. I know. I, I can't well, you let you your... down in public. She's like the WB frog, where she's, uh, <laughs> when you're not around, it's a big deal. All right, Davey Mac, talk to you later, brother. Okay, bye, guys. I'll probably see you next Monday. Uh, here's David. David, you're on Ryan Fez. Hey, Roddy B. Hey, Dave, man. Uh, the Battle of the Hill the Republic is uh, when Johnny comes marching home. What you did was Dixieland. You're raising a Confederate. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did do Dixieland. I couldn't make it out. I only understood one note. But then again, I'm not a little baby who doesn't know the difference between music. Um, here is uh, Chris, you're on Fez. Hello? Yeah. Um, I think they found the uh, worst sound in the world that's annoying the humans, uh, more so than the nails on the blackboard, that harmonica. Well, you know, I mean, a harmonica... Uh, is when it's not played properly and with the right music, it is annoying. Nobody really likes their harmonica solo. Harmonica, it, se it always seemed to me when I was a kid that that would be like the easiest instrument to learn how to play. Like I thought it was like a kazoo where all you had to do was hum into the thing and it was going to make it sound musical. Mm -hmm. And no, not the case at all. I want to bring Eastside Dave in. Uh Setting a brand new record, Dave. You've made uh, one show in a row. Uh, the streak is starting back up. Did you say hi to everybody else that was able to be in here yesterday. Yes, I did. I said hi to everyone. Yeah, yeah I didn't. It was it was it was a blizzard in did New you, Jersey. Did you say hi to all the regulars? I yes to Ron Fez. Yeah, I did. Now yesterday blizzard. you uh, made your uh, daughter a snowman. Uh, are the That's pictures right. up on RonFez.net? Yeah, I told Casey to send him the Mikey boy. Uh, by the way, he's very normal. <laughs> um, the strange thing there was, have you ever made a snowman in your life? <laughs> um, not uh, as, as an adult, no. Everybody knows what a snowman looks like. You you make one very large uh, snowball, then uh, a medium-sized snowball. That becomes the trunk of the body. Then the head sticks in the side. Dave makes, I've never seen this before, a strange small snowman who's looking straight up in the air. <laughs> And his branch arms are out, and I felt like I was in the helicopter uh, in Platoon looking down at Willem Dafoe. <laughs> it's the only other time I've ever seen that. And I thought, if that's Juliana's first snowman, she's going to spend a life of terror. I'm sorry, were you texting during the show? No, no, no. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just happy my phone was going off. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a pal talk thing. Um, yeah, well, you know what? She did not like it either. And I was, I, what I was going for was that the snowman would be her size. You see right. what I mean? Because I thought a big snowman was going to intimidate her. Smart. Okay. I and, like that. But... You're making a snow baby. Yeah. So I right, was. There's a picture of it. Um, and it's frightening. What did you make the eyes out of? Ketchup. Mm. Because I couldn't find any buttons in the corn cob right, pipe. Box hook. wine is going in an evil snow lump. Oh, my which, God. Which uh, I don't like. I mean, who has a but corn cob pipe? Your baby's how old now? She's uh, nine months. Here's the sad thing. She is falling into an age where she can be so fooled. And I saw her face yesterday as you were playing the harmonica with her, and she really did think she was looking at Magic Dick from the Jay Giles Band. <laughs> she was totally impressed with you, and it's sad because she doesn't have anything to compare it to. And we were all there at a certain age where we thought our dad was fantastic, yeah. only later to let us down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it happened to me a bunch of times. Yeah. I, I remember uh, my dad got us Yankee Red Sox tickets mm -hmm. in Fenway Park. So it's a Sunday afternoon. My dad got us up nice and early, 7 in the morning. Um, had never been to Massachusetts before and got lost. We missed the game. We, we, we didn't even get to Boston until 4 o'clock. It was a 1 o'clock afternoon start. So your dad, you, you were at the age then where you figured out your dad was too stupid to, <laughs> to fucking drive. I was 11, and I still had my dad is bigger than life. And after that happened, never looked at the guy the same. He was just a piece of shit yeah, to you I was from like, that point on. You are, 
what is wrong with you? And then every time after that, if we were going to any kind of ball game, you know, my brothers would be like, Dad, are you sure you have this thing worked out? Dad, do you want the map? Do you want the atlas? No, were you, were you ball busting them? Or... No, after that Fenway thing, we were like, Dad, do you, you want the atlas? Dad, do we need to give directions for you? Because he got us lost. And it's not like he got us into Boston uh, at 1230. All right, let me, uh, Emily, Emily, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ron. <laughs> I just wonder, when it, when it becomes uh, Ron and Fez, the movie, who's going to play the parts? And most importantly, who's going to have the balls to play Davy Mac? Well, here's what we will do. We will only be played by a two-headed baby. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be the deal breaker. You got a two-headed baby to play in this? <laughs> then I'm enough, sorry. Enough, enough of these kids are licking carbonite. Who knows? Well, your review stunk, Scruffy. Yeah, yeah. That's probably because I didn't see the movie. Why didn't you get there earlier? Uh, because Mr. Uh, Pepper Hicks uh, did not uh, decide to leave and early enough or alert me that he wasn't, in fact, going. So Davey Mac, passes went why are you shit. wearing the Tito's? Take it off. You're out. Yeah, you lost the Tito's. It was cold, though. Yeah, you I don't get it no, anymore. I can't wear it? No, I know not, I'm out, but... Like I like to say, Nas, you can't leave. <laughs> I want you to take it over there. Play the branded theme, Fezzy, for him. Oh, come on. Okay. Wait, wait, take your time. It's chilly. Put, put it back on. Uh, do we have scissors? Uh, yeah, we should have scissors. <laughs> Come on, don't. Wait, hold on on the branded theme until I get my scissors in here. We will get the scissors. We will make this official. Eastside Dave had a bet with Pepper Hicks that uh, who could wear the Tito's vodka gear the longest, these fleece uh, sweatshirts. Davey Mac got caught when he uh, was on the show Monday on the phone, got caught by the pay uh, Peltoc cameras. No. Not wearing his Tito's. Here we go. All but one man died. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, 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 oh, it's a sad day. Torn right off of him, just shredded. Oh, oh, wow. That is it. <laughs> Ronnie's just me. making sure right. there's nothing left of this Tito's fleece. Right. You've been yeah. branded, my friend. <laughs> Watch it. Don't do it. That's that, close. That, that Tito's okay, fleece is being stabbed. Oh Jesus Christ, dude. Like it was, uh, like it was psycho. Yeah, yeah you, you're stabbing an inch away, though, from my yes. shoulder. That's the point. Yeah, because you have disgraced the name of Tito's Vodka. Oh. You have disgraced fleece. What's going on, you jerk off? And now, Fez? Yes, if you'll oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. No, no! What the fuck? How did you get a <laughs> <laughs> for that hideous Watchmen review. He's after Scruffy just flipping the place off. Just tearing everything up. And oh, I, I caught a very solid garbage can. And ow! Oh. Objects being thrown around the room. Scruffy into the wall. And he's flipping us off. He's flipping us off as he heads out the door. Walking backwards, flipping us off. Why every time? Oh, man. Dave, you had to wear the Tito's vest, didn't you? You had to wear the Tito's fleece. There was just a can of whoop-ass opened up on us in here. Uh, Scruffy, how are you doing? Are you all right? I think I hurt my hand, maybe my ankle. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I'm sure I may have some sort of concussion or something. Oh, I'm bleeding, I think. I'm bleeding. Well, you had... Oh, no, 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 oh, no. 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 Oh, no. He's back. No. Oh, I know I can stop him. No. He is back. Oh, no. 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 No.
Yeah, we're getting flipped off and Ronnie's leaving again. Ronnie is just a flea! I don't... He's leaving again. Ah, I think there's severe head injuries. Oh, that really, really hurts. The and studio's getting pretty decimated, too. Had to pick ourselves back up. See, you never know where the radio rattlesnake is going to uh, strike. You just never know. It's the Ron and Fez show.